Hi everybody and welcome to Heal Heat. My name is George Coles and on this episode we're going to do It Came From The Network. The topic of this, Monday Night Raw Season 5 Episode 4 from January 27th, 1997. And I picked this for, well, I'm going to be honest, for time constraint reasons. I wanted to get a video out. I'm trying to keep on um, having a video out every Wednesday and Sunday. So with today being, at the time of recording, the same day as the Super Bowl, with prior engagements I had with my shoot job, I kind of had to do something quick. So this was the last of the one-hour Monday Night Rawls. So that's why I picked this episode. And we're going to go into it. First match of the night. Now, if, and again, on It Came From The Network, we review the weird, wacky, bad, sometimes good, sometimes campy. Stuff you can find formerly on the WWE Network, now on Peacock. We grade everything on a 1 to 5 scale, 1 being the worst, 5 being the best. And jumping right into that, we have the first match of the night, Ahmed Johnson vs. Crush. This is when Crush was in the Nation of Domination. This match, I'm just going to be blatantly honest, Ahmed is terrible. There are a couple botches that he does, like simple botches, like a body slam botch in the match, a suplex botch. Crush is a better wrestler than he deserved here. Um, this match wasn't good. You had the Nation of Domination out on the outside, Clarence Mason, and at the time D'Lo was in a suit. There were a couple other guys, PG-13. Towards the end of the match, Farouk, Ron Simmons comes out. He helps kind of he attacks Crush, um, attacks Ahmed, which sets up Crush for the heart punch. Crush gets a win. This was just a mess to me. I didn't like this match one bit. I'm going to give this a one. Now, coming off of that, our next thing, we have an in-ring interview with Vince McMahon, not yet Mr. McMahon, who brings out Shawn Michaels. They do a little bit of an interview. Then... This was leading into the fate in your house fader fatal four way pay per view. Say that three times fast. Brings out Bret Hart, Undertaker, Steve Austin, and then Vader, who Vader doesn't actually say anything, but the rest do. Kind of interesting watching this, knowing that they were trying to set up WrestleMania and Shawn Michaels in WrestleMania, knowing that he didn't wrestle at that WrestleMania. Kind of interesting to watch this back and see what the setup was planning to be. It's It was a great interview. Michaels did a great job. Brett did really good. Undertaker did awesome. Steve Austin was just tapping into what he would really become. This was before the double turn, which is that WrestleMania. So this, you know, this was a really good... You have... Five absolutely, or six if you include Vince, absolutely legendary people in the ring and around the ring talking. I'm going to give this segment a five. I thought it was awesome. The best thing by a long shot on this episode. Now coming off of that was a match I actually thought was going to be better than it ended up being. The British Bulldog versus Doug Furness. Both of them had their tag partners. Bulldog had Owen Hart. Furness had Phil LaFon. They teased towards the end where Owen hit Bulldog on accident. Some dissension between the two after the match. Bulldog picks up the win on Furness. I, I expected this to be a really good match. I love the British Bulldog. If you go back a few episodes, I did a review on the Coliseum video. Or no longer Coliseum video. But it was his solo video. I, he's a guy that I really enjoy, and I really enjoy his style. His style still holds up well. Doug Furness, another really good wrestler. I just, for whatever reason, these two didn't click well. Bulldog picked up the win in this. I'm going to give it a two. It just, again, for some reason, it just didn't work. Now we get into the main event of our evening. As you can see, like I said, it was only an hour-long show, so it went rather quickly. We got... Big Van Vader, or just Vader at the time, and Mankind, who are doing a can-they-get-along kind of thing. 
managed by Paul Bear versus the Godwins, Henry and Phineas, which were managed by Hillbilly Jim. This, again, this match felt clunky. It went on longer than it should have. Both of these, Vader and Mankind, two absolute legends. The Godwins, a really great tag team, especially at the time. There were a lot of just seemingly walking around and plodding around spots during the match. To me, it just didn't work that well. Um, the Godwins pick up the win by countout when Mankind accidentally hits Vader with a chair. Doesn't seem to care that he hit Vader, so we get that little tease of them too. I'm going to give this match a two. I Again, it just didn't work for me. Then after that, we see Ahmed Johnson, who the whole night, on little segments you would see, was trying to chase down the Nation of Domination. He runs after a car that leaves. That's how Raw goes off the air. This was a very subpar show. I, I expected better. Um, the interview segment was fantastic. Ahmed and Crush I didn't have high hopes for. Bulldog vs. Doug Furness, I did. Um, Vader and Mankind vs. the Godwins, I kind of expected better from that, too. Overall, I'm going to give this a 2. I thought it was okay. If for nothing else, the, the promo is a really good promo to see legends of that stature all doing their thing around the same time. Other than that, the show, you can skip this all together. One interesting thing... At the time this show was live, it was just, I believe, a week or maybe even two weeks after the Patriots, maybe even the day after, the New England Patriots lost to the, the Packers, and the whole night, Jerry Lawler was making fun of the Patriots losing, which kind of, if you know what happens just a few years after this, the Patriots went on to be probably one of the most successful franchises in football history and probably all of American sports. So it's kind of funny seeing that. But again, overall, I give it a 2. Total, totally passable Monday Night Raw. If you watch anything from this, watch the promo. But that's about it. With all that being said, my name is George Coles, and this has been another episode. Or actually, before I go off the air, make sure you hit like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And if you watched it this long, let's put Patriots in the in the uh, the comments down here if you watch the end. <laughs> now, with that being said, my name is George Coles, and this has been another episode of It Came From The Network. <laughs>